This is the Cowboys Report, and I'm your boy Tom Downey, back with another mailbag answering any questions that come in live or if they came in via super thanks on any of our videos here. We got some of those to give some shout outs to. Bonham Scott says, $10 super thanks, double water cheers, make Tom pee. I need some water after Monday night. Cheers to you, Bonham. Thank you very much. $2 from a freelance regent just says, thanks. Thank you very much. If you do a super thanks, we promise you a shout out. It's a new-ish feature on YouTube. You can super chat on live and super thanks on demand. Click the thanks icon. Whatever amount you put, we appreciate it. You help us keep the lights on, keep growing here at Chat Sports. All made possible thanks to you guys. If you super thanks, we'll give you a shout out. Anthony 2X. I'm pretty sure I said this before. Head coach Sean Payton, OC quarterback coach Drew Brees, DC Dan Quinn. That would be amazing. So, yeah, like Sean Payton, Dan Quinn combo, let's ride. I'm not sure you can keep Dan Quinn after this year if you hire Sean Payton. It might be an either or situation. Drew Brees, like, he's not going to call your plays. So, like, I'd probably give him, like, quarterback's coach to start because he's never done a coach before, but he's not your play caller, so that's a in-name-only title that I don't think matters that much, but Breeze does not make or break that for me at all. So, you might have to pick from one of these three guys to be your head coach, if you're lucky, right? Or maybe unlucky, depending on how you want to view it. Pick a head coach next year. MM for Mike McCarthy, SP for Sean Payton, or DQ for Dan Quinn. Those are your three options, right? So, let me know in the comments section. I'm going to make this question the pinned comments on today's video. So if the ad break comes here on YouTube, great timing. Take advantage of it. MM, SP, or DQ at that pinned comment. $2 super from Locust Tufide. Uh, I think the Cowboys will get a receiver and who? No. We're, we're, we're past that. Gallup, I think, will be back this week. So that's Lamb. Gallup. Brown's been awesome. Tolbert's finally playing. Unless there's another injury, that's my qualifier. I don't think there's a receiver coming outside of Washington coming back as well, potentially. Uh, Shadi Quora, what do you think of Mike McCarthy so far? Look, two and one. In the end, it'll come down to the playoff success. That'll define your season or not. But so far, I think we should be happy. The off the, they've done a good job of winning games. They've been underdogs in the past two. Good teams win. Great teams cover. Dallas covered week two and week three. I, I think credit to McCarthy. Will it stay? We got time to see. I am less worried about, about October and September. Get to me in December when you kind of had issues last year on offense in particular. If those come back up, different conversation. All right, $5 from Mark. I'm sort of optimistic. D looks solid. Sacks a more reflection of bad offensive lines. It's fair. Comes down to if Dak takes the next step who's like a $40 million guy. So we've seen Dak play like that guy. I mean, you can watch the first seven games, whatever it was, last year. He was a top three QB in the entire NFL. He was awesome. Now, you need that consistently, and you need it in the postseason. And I think Mark's right, by the way. Your playoff success, as long as the supporting cast does what it's been doing, will come down to how well Dak plays. And that, that's a lot of pressure on any QB, to be fair, but it's where we're at. If you want to make a real playoff run, you need your franchise QB to be a top five QB in the postseason. Not top 15 like he was last year as a, a in the back half. Top three. You get that guy, you can make some noise. Now, today's show is made possible by BetUS. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code Cowboys125. 100 bucks down. Extra 125 for free when you use that promo code Cowboys125. Dallas is a three and a half point favorite. The over under set at 42 and a half. It's the first time all year the Cowboys have been a betting favorite leading into the game week. They were going to be one in week two, then Decker, and they won anyway, which is great. Promo code Cowboys125, chatsports.com slash bet. From Mark. RD is like the old Tampa 2, bend but not break. I, I think you mean not like scheme, but like their style of fewer turnovers this year, getting off field, pretty much, yeah. Need a stud DT. Bohanna is okay at best, would not start for most teams. 
been solid against the run, but he brings you nothing in the passing game. I'm still waiting on that Osa breakout game if it's going to come. Cox is supposed to be a steal. What happened to him? They've played a lot of Anthony Barr and a lot of Leighton Van Der Esch. Look at the snap counts right now. There was no Jabril Cox action. Maybe he needs more time. I have been a bit disappointed there. And just Joseph looks like a bust. Yeah, I played five snaps when Trayvon Diggs briefly left the game with an injury. Uh, targeted one time and got called for a flag. Hands to the face. I've been very underwhelmed so far by Kelvin Joseph, unfortunately. Chris Snow, if our run game continues to be great, do we draft a running back like Robinson? That's B. John Robinson of Texas. Could be, he could run with Pollard. I'm out on Zeke. Here's the problem. You got to take Bijan first round. And in this scenario, you're paying Tony Pollard too. So you're spending money on a back and spending your most valuable asset, draft capital-wise, on another back. I don't want to go that route. I love Bijan Robinson. I think he's going to be a great NFL player. But I feel like letting go of Zeke and then drafting him back in the first round is kind of repeating your same mistake as last time. Cam Kramer. With how good Noah Brown has been, and assuming Gallup returns to form, is there a chance CeeDee Lamb ends up having the most, second or third most receiving yards on the team? I don't think so. As good as Noah Brown has been, and as bad as that drop was by CeeDee Lamb, and that's not forgivable, frankly, you know, Noah Brown has a 14-yard lead over CeeDee Lamb, but CeeDee Lamb's got 13 more targets. They're going to come. Uh, Noah Brown's been good. Gallup's still pretty far behind. I would be shocked if when week, when week 17 wraps up, if Lamb doesn't end up as your leading receiver, they are still going to feed targets his way. The volume's there. The drops will be evened out, and better throws will come too. I think Lamb will end up being receiver one in the end. Now, if you want free Cowboys videos, news, rumors, mailbags like this one, watch parties, live shows, game previews, we got you covered. Hit that big red button and subscribe, youtube.com slash Cowboys TV. From Duh 1534 will Tolbert do anything this year? Caught a pass uh, or for four yards last night or Monday night, something. Uh, remember, Michael Gallup in his first year. Took him about half the year to get going. Maybe something similar happens for Tolbert. And later in the year, he makes a bigger impact for you. I'm not out on him, but I think patience is needed. All right, Vince, here we go. Which position should the Cowboys address in next year's draft? Left guard, tight end, corner, DT, running back. Five good spots to look at. I don't know yet. There's a basically a whole year left of football. We can make those calls. You know, in, 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 in January, in February, in March, in April, it's not a priority for me right now. Five good spots to consider. Let's see where they're drafting, who comes out, who plays well in college football. It's a bit early to start trying to peg one particular spot. All right, pick the score for me of the Cowboys against the Commies. I don't call them by their real name. They're a poverty franchise. They're the Commies to me because I believe in being better dead than red. Pick the score for me. Cowboys against the Commies on week four of the NFL. How oh, Nate loves to troll. He really does. Let's get Stephon Diggs, Des Bryant back, Travis Frederick, and Jason Witten. Obviously, you're not going to get Stephon Diggs in a trade. The Bills are not stupid. Des Bryant's washed. Jason Witten is old. And Frederick is not in game shape. He's not coming back either. So, Nate, I know you're having fun. I appreciate the, the comment. JT Dart, is it time to start Jason Peters? Probably. Um, I don't have a great feel for where they're going to line up Peters. It's kind of almost in everything. I think he's better than Matt Farniak once Peters is able to go a full snap count allotment and whatnot. But I don't want to move Tyler Smith right now. Terrence Steele was an awesome run blocker at right tackle. He's done a good job in pass pro overall. You're obviously not going to bench Zach Martin, and Peters can't play center. So do you put him in at left guard? But if so, what about Connor McGovern? Do you just bench McGovern? Possibility. Um, if it comes down to these two guys, 
Pick one for me. CM for Connor McGovern or JP for Jason Peters? Let me know in the comment section. All right, Darren Lewis, the Cowboys, Lions, and the Commanders are all in the same pool. In terms of, like, expectations, like... I think the Cowboys are better than those two teams. Now, maybe the Lions can kind of make up some ground. I think they're on a good upward trajectory. But I don't believe in the Commanders overall. I, I, I'm not sold on them, period. All right, some super chats here. Aloha, how's the baby and mommy? Tom, love the show, bro. Thank you, Mark. Olivia is now sleeping through the night. That's... It's a big deal for me, and I'm very happy on that front there. From Mark, last year Dak did good to the first seven games, uh, but Tampa's top two QBs were out. It's true. Of course, they were. he still played well. I, again, I don't want to discount. If, I feel like if we, if we play this game too much, and it's the, well, if we ignore this, this, and this, and focus in on these two things, the point of seven, you know, it's, we get a bit deceptive from, from that standpoint there uh horrible versus la hey, you know 85.2 percent 23 points I, mean, I know mark's not doing it but like that's what you know rush has done and we think rush is better so like not his best game though i agree they killed philly killed the giants killed the panthers who all sucked and eagles were a playoff team Dak was awesome in those games like my mindset is this i i, I think your overall point mark you need better consistency down the stretch Totally agree. You had a terrible offense line effort against the Niners. Don't get me wrong there. Although Dak was bad, to be clear. clear, But, you know, five sacks in that game is not particularly good. New England was a good team. You threw for 445 yards still. So I do need more of that level of play later on. But I'm not going to discount how he played in those first five, six games, whatever it was. We can, I'm not going to discount the Falcons game. He played great against the Raiders in that loss, you know. There were bit down moments, don't get me wrong. I just need a more consistent DAC overall. And I think that back half of the year, you're right. There was not enough consistency. Maybe it was the injury. The old line didn't play well, but they're playing better now. Maybe the whole Kellen Moore first half, second half split goes away because they've been bad. His play calling, not great. out of the games. Either way, I, I'm not going to go any further there. Thanks for the super chat, Mark. If we did not get to your question, whoever it is, DM me on Twitter at WhatGoingDowning.